We all know that Luke Skywalker turned Darth Vader back to the light and then witnessed the subsequent death of Darth Sidious, resulting in the end of the Sith as the galaxy knew them. But what if I told you that Luke dealt with another Sith long after the fall of the Empire? Meet Viceroy X Impanchard, a Dark Lord of the Sith hailing from a time long before the reign of Darth Sidious. The Viceroy was a powerful and terrifying monster, responsible for the deaths of countless innocent beings whose screams could be heard within his mask long after he'd passed. Panchard was dead, but his spirit lived on within his mask, which after the Battle of Endor had been recovered by one of Palpatine's loyal advisors and then gifted to a young woman who was an aspiring acolyte of the beyond. Her name was Kiza. She was not for sensitive, but that didn't seem to matter once she'd put on the mask. It consumed Kiza, possessing her to do its bidding, gifting her with the power and skill of Ex Impanchard himself. Kiza killed many people in her pursuit of the Viceroy's ultimate goal, which was to find the Sith homeworld of Exegol with the intent of being reborn. But this plan was thrown off when Luke Skywalker, the Grand Master of the New Jedi Order, began to sense a dark and growing presence. Luke had visions of pain and suffering, he dreamt of Exegol, and eventually, his premonitions would lead him to Kiza. Luke sensed that Kiza was being controlled, and he tried to save her, but she was too far gone. She would die in a blazing fire of explosions on the planet she had been hiding out on in the Unknown Regions. After this event, however, the Mask of the Viceroy continued to use her body until it met Luke once again. And it was here that the Jedi Master would put a definitive end to yet another Sith Lord, destroying the Mask of Viceroy X Impanchard, and storing the broken pieces in a box at his Jedi Temple until he consulted his good friend Lor Santeca about what he should do with them. So, after hearing about this, I presume one might be inclined to ask why Luke didn't continue pursuing Exegol. He knew the place was real, he'd actually managed to transport a part of himself there through the Seeing Stone on Tython, and he knew that the Sith believed they could be reborn there. So that's probably something worth pursuing, right? Well, yes and no. It would make sense for Luke to want to find Exegol, and there's really no reason to think that he didn't continue looking for it. But the matter was nowhere near as urgent anymore after destroying the mask because Luke believed that that was the lone cause of his dark premonitions. He didn't believe Palpatine was out there because he had no reason to think that was the case. He watched Palpatine die, and the fact of the matter is that after all of this was done, Luke just hit a bunch of dead ends. He never found the Wayfinders that led to Exegol, he never found Ochi's blade which led to the Wayfinders, he never found Ochi of Bastoon at all. This is all connected to Luke and Lando's pursuit of Rey and her family, which also ultimately concluded in a bunch of dead ends. Rey's parents hid her away on Jakku, Ochi killed them when they wouldn't tell him where she was, and then he went and died on Pasana while looking for Rey. There were no dots to connect for Luke, because Rey and Ochi were Luke's only leads and they were both gone. As far as Luke and everyone else knew, Palpatine was dead, and so everything ended there. Lando stayed on Pasana Sana to look for Ochi in the hopes that that would lead him to Rey or his own daughter, which of course it did not, and Luke went back to tend to Ben Solo and his Jedi Order. And that was that, there was nothing more to pursue for Luke. So there you have it, that's why Luke never found Exegol, and there's some background on a new Sith Lord who Luke had to take down, which I think is a pretty cool story. But with those questions having been answered, I am going to go ahead and end this video here, so thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to show your support, please remember to drop a like, subscribe to the channel for future Star Wars content, and until next time, remember, the Force will be with you always.